Stupid hair. What's up everyone? So last night my night ended their pre-season tour of United um, where they won against Real Madrid 2-1. Good result, right? I mean seriously, some of the backlash we got for losing to Liverpool 4-1 in a pre-season friendly, I mean come on guys. You scummy fans, seriously. Background noise. So this is what I thought about the game itself. I stayed up till 1am last night. I don't know why I did that because I was thinking we're going to get a butt kicked. But we didn't. United have a lot of problems right now, especially in the pre-season where most of the kids are going there. Most of the kids are playing. We don't have a lot of regular first teamers. Like seriously, there is no Lukaku, Pogba. Our defence is missing. Valencia is out of sorts. Uh, Matic is missing as well. So it was a bit of a concern going into this preseason and uh, I do echo Mourinho's words in what he says in the press conference but I don't agree the way he goes on about it. So enough about that. The match itself was alright, I felt. I mean, the first half we were brilliant. We were all over Madrid, even though Madrid had a lot of youngsters on the on the field. They did have a strong bench though. Well, what looked like on paper was going to be a 4-4-2 formation. Ended up becoming more like a 5-3-2 formation. We had Damian and Luke Shaw almost as wingers and they needed to bomb forward to be honest because we had like almost three defenders where McTominay was dropping off from the midfield into defense. I thought Damian did really well. I mean he was a lot of the time going forward more so than Luke Shaw who I felt had a quiet 10 minutes of the game but once he kicked on he ended up playing really well actually. Defensively there were a few times where I felt Luke Shaw didn't anticipate things very well and Madrid did get behind us but going forward there was a lot of good movements from him and I really like him. I want him to have a very good season and especially what um, happened to him last season where he was really poor wasn't he and I think he wasn't helped by the fact that Mourinho was very open to criticizing him for the first goal credit goes to Damian who made a very good run in the wings and crossed it to Sanchez who smashed it in and he was well deserved because we were dominating in the first 10-15 minutes or so but the second goal was amazing because the link up between Mata and Sanchez who squared it to Herrera to make it 2 -0. Madrid did pull one back before half time. I mean, the first half they weren't, you know, they weren't in the games really. They weren't in the track. But in the second half, man, Madrid was on us. I mean, we barely got moving. We barely touched the ball for like what 12 minutes in. And you kind of understand that because we had a lot of first team players missing and a lot of kids playing. But uh, we, we initially uh, we, we held them back and De Gea really never made a save until I think towards the end somewhere. Then Madrid bought on the big guns that you got. You had Asensio, Cruz and Isco. Man, those three came on and they were totally locked on us. I think a special mention for me is Alexis Sanchez, who was mad the match for me at least. He was on fire. He was arguing with every decision, even though it's a pre-season friendly, but it just shows his de dedication and determination. He was running up and down all night long, so he looks to be on fire. I think that if we were to have a very good season, people like Pogba and Sanchez needs to really step onto the plate. You're going to get goals with Lukaku anyway, but it's just a supply coming up too. Let's talk about a new signing, Fred. He's a very busy player, isn't he? I mean, there were situations where you thought he's going to lose the ball, but he had very good control and very good composure to get away and wiggle away and win us vital free kicks. I felt he had a very good afternoon. I think he went off on the 70th minute, I believe. But he had a very good debut, in my opinion. So overall, I felt that 2-1 was deserved. I think if you want to be really nitpicking, I think Madrid could have equalised, especially the way they were dominating in the second half. But I'll take the 2-1 anyway. Who cares? Now, I know pre-season friendly doesn't mean much, but it was nice to get a win under our belt. Gives a bit of a morale boost going into uh, the new season, which is next week, um, ahead of, I believe, Sunday's match with Bayern. Let's talk about Pereira. Now, I think he had a decent game. He was more like a deep-lying playmaker where normally you have Cruz playing. And he can't tackle to save his life. I mean, he tried to tackle a few times and he was really bad. But his composure on the ball and his general awareness was decent. And I think Mourinho should keep him home and don't let him go out on loan. Because we need players like that. You had Timothy Fosu Mensa who played in centre-back and he looks like a beast. I mean, look at the size of him. He's like, what, 21? But hopefully players like Pereira and Fosu Mensa don't go out on loan. And instead, just stay with the club and grow with the club. And we can use them as a squad rotation player and gain valuable experience. But anyway, thanks for watching. That was my honest review around the match. It is my first ever review of a match. 
And next week I travel to Old Trafford to see Leicester versus Man United, uh, which should be exciting. And I will record it and I'll record as much as possible. I'll do a pre-match and a post-match and some footages in the match itself, depending on if I'm actually allowed to take my GoPro in. For everything Man United related, hit the sub button and stay Farafari. No, it's actually Farafari.